Okay, hello everyone. I am the computer man and today we react to the Verge PC build because it was it was terrible. So the Verge PC build. Here it is. We will be so reacting. We will be reacting to this PC build as you can tell how terrible it is. It's a disappointment to the PC building community, you know. Put it on full screen. Go away. Okay, this guy, Steve Urkel, man. Let's check out. Years ago, TC, or Managing Editor, built a gaming desktop, but it's kind of out of date, and it's definitely not going to hold up for Battlefield 5. Who the, the frick, frick plays Battlefield, Battlefield 5? 5? Let's continue. So, let's build a new one. You can build... Before, Before we start, start I, I'm, I'm scared. scared. I'm, I'm personally scared, scared for this dude. dude. I'm personally scared. Okay, okay. I honestly, honestly don't know how he's gonna hold up. up. But let's go. Build the gaming desktop for around a thousand dollars, but I want to go all. My gaming, gaming desktop, desktop is four fifty. It's nowhere near one thousand, yet it's still pretty, pretty good. good. Don't, don't listen to him. Just saying. Loud. So I spent around two thousand. PC. Let me just change this. this. Oh, oh damn. damn. Okay. Like this is gonna be able to play. Okay. 1080 GTX 1080 overclocked. How much is an OC 1080? Okay. Now, how much is a GTX 1080? <laughs> Not Okay. Before I want to say, before I say anything, 1080 Ti, 500 bucks. Okay. You could have gone with the 20. You could have gone with the 2070, man. Come on. And still, the man went for 1080. When, when you could have gone, gone for a 2070 20 super. super. You, you can get a used, used 2080. 20 okay. okay, yeah, yeah you're gonna screw it. it. Let's, Let's just watch. watch. Say most Let's games at ultra settings. So, what do you need to build a desktop? Well, of course, first you need a table. Yeah, because yeah, I, I thought, thought you build PCs, PCs in the clouds. clouds. Okay, okay, gotcha. gotcha. You, need you need a table, guys. Remember that. Preferably not metal. If it's gonna be metal, have an anti static working surface. Not, not cap. cap. Surface, layer it on top of it. Use your motherboard box. You can't use that. Just use your motherboard box. And my hat is falling off. Thermal paste applicator. And you don't need a thermal paste applicator. Okay. Allen wrench. Some tweezers to tie up the wires. Those are not tweezers. Those are zip ties. How did my mom have better English than him? Okay, it's fine. Swiss Army knife, which hopefully has a Phillips head screwdriver. A Swiss Army knife. With that, hopefully. Hopefully, just hopefully, hopefully has it. Uh, okay, Phillips could be whatever. You can just get one for like two bucks at like your local Home Depot. Depot. Just go there instead of buying a Swiss Army knife for 15. And I don't, I don't understand, understand why you need an Allen wrench, but okay, okay all, all I use was a Phillips screwdriver. That's literally it. But okay, sure. We're in it. And last but not least, an anti-static bracelet, which nice. is to protect you and the parts. Yes. These are the parts you're gonna need, but more. What's the point of? Wearing it if you're just gonna wear it instead of connecting it okay, to the ground. You're supposed to connect it to the ground. Man isn't fighting static, he's fighting cancer. <laughs> he has the whole bracelet. Importantly, before we get there, we need to understand what these parts are doing and how they interact with one another. To better understand the computer found the computer rest, skip, 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 more the we need to set find deal. I should start working. You okay, really we have a lot of boxes and a lot of PC parts, so it's best if you unbox them, isolate the parts that you really need, place items into the case, and make sure that they all fit and then start working. And now we're really gonna start building by adding the motherboard in. Some notes about installing motherboards, they're really delicate, you should be really careful with them. And screw in with confidence. Yes, screw in with confidence. I love, I love his attitude. But also don't screw in too hard, otherwise you could crack the board. 
I chose Asus' Z370 motherboard for two main reasons. One, it has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and also it has support for NVMe SSDs, meaning you can get really fast SSDs that are really easy to install. Pay close attention to the brace that goes at... He likes brace. That's, That's what he's gonna say. say. That's, That's an, an IO shield, shield for your information, but, but like, yeah, yeah, just call it a brace if you want. It's an IO shield, shield man. Okay, the back of the computer, you always have to make sure that you really hammer it in because there's no screw, it really just has to go outside of the case and clasp onto the frame. And this is very important because otherwise you can't align the motherboard correctly with the holes. We're just going to start installing all eight screws. So next we're going to install the RAM on the motherboard. I chose Corsair's 16 gigabyte Dual Light Lite, 160 hits, important. Open the pretty wow. fast, fast RAM, it's 2,660 hits, 6 megahertz. That's, That's not, not fast. fast. My, My RAM ran the 3200 megahertz, and it's still just 450 bucks for the entire PC. Just like I believe so it's pretty fast and this mother it's, it's not, not fast, fast but, but yeah, yeah no, sure. board supports that speed which is most important open the slots first and yes. just aligning the stick with the middle of the strip not yes. with the end and just lining that up with the logo yes. so once you hear that solid clasp and you don't see the it's a click, click not, not a clasp full connectors on the side anymore that's when you know the rem is in step three we're going to install wait oh. So, so if, if you guys see here, he put, put them in slots, slots either, either 2 and 3 or 1 and 2. You put them in 2 and 4, my guy. I don't care about how good your PC will look. You put them in 2 and 4, that's like the best slots for your rig. Oh, the hard drive. Or in this case, the NVMe SSD. I chose this format of solid state drive so that I could input it into the motherboard without having to worry about extra wires or... That's good. It's, it's fast, fast from no wires. wires. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a less thing, less thing that you can mess, mess up. up. One, One less thing, thing you can mess up. Good job. Or putting it in a separate part of the case and just getting really messy. This is from Kingston, and it's 480 gigabytes, so it's not a lot, but you can always upgrade this and swap it out, and it's only held down by one screw and the latch, so it's really simple and really straightforward. Games to load quickly. It's card. I chose PNY's GTX 1080. You can, you can go, go with the 2070 Super, Super or, or you can just get a used 2080. 20. I don't understand why we for 10 is overclocked. And so it's a pretty easy installation. You're just going to find the gold connectors. Yeah. And you're going to line this bracket with the... It's not a... Okay, you know, whatever. Back end bracket of your PC case. So many brackets and braces. He just loves brackets and braces, I can tell. Now, which lane you choose depends entirely on what other parts you're going to put in the system. I'm just going to pick the top one because... Okay, thank God. God. He, he doesn't, doesn't even know what link to, to put it in, but thank God, God he put it on the top one. one. The SSD is at the bottom, and I don't want to cover it. I just think it looks nice. Click down. Take your remaining brackets, and just put... So many brackets, man. I know, so many brackets. Put them in the spots that you haven't used. You don't have to screw these in. They get bolted. Power supply time. I oh chose God. Corsair. Power supply time, I'm scared for this dude. There's 850 watt power supply because I need enough headroom for ray tracing GPUs when they come out, and I don't want to have to upgrade it again. So all you have to- Okay, okay ray, ray tracing, tracing wasn't out. out. That, that is my fault. fault. But okay. It's fine then. If you went with the 1080, you can go with the 1080. That's my fault. But ray tracing wasn't out yet, I guess. What to do is take the brick and make sure that you align it with these little insulating pads. Those, those aren't insulating, insulating. Those, those are vibrator are pads, so it doesn't rattle and make a bunch of noise. Okay. Okay. Right, so the power it. supply doesn't short circuit. Don't, Don't listen, listen to them. Good, and come into contact with the rest of the system. So just take it in, slide it in nice and easy until you have a... If I were able to plug everything in first, you know, just to make it just, 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 just easier, you know what I mean? Snug fit and then shift it to the back and make sure it's right up against the frame. Now, I'm just going to assume the fan is down or it's placed correctly. Right? You just take the required screws, GPU core. In this case, it's going to go on the top end of the install the boom first before you, which is going to install it. Wait, Wait, hold on. No, 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 that's not it. Always. Is he mounting the CPU? He's mounting the radio without putting the fans on. 
I'm out. Quick lesson, guys. When you mount a CPU liquid cooler, make sure the radiator has fans on it. All right, good. Be sure to try to place it in the system first before you install it, because you can see it takes up a lot of space. But in this case, and, and, so there's nothing so cooler, and they just, they're just... He's using the wrong screws. They're not supposed to be that long. They're supposed to be small. They're gonna make a hole in the radiator. Really long screws, because they go through the entire frame of the cooler. No, yeah, you're gonna make a hole in the cooler. And they take forever. Yeah. So next up, cables. Oh, Every oh. cables is the worst nightmare. Power supply is gonna come with a big bag of Velcro cables. It's match is work net cable from the mother. Have one of the thread. Wait, hold on. The motherboard with the twenty-four pin cable. We're just matching. Has he not put in the seat? Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Net cable from the motherboard. Threading it through the back. The next few additions will be CPU cooler of the computer or the brain else really. We're in Oh gosh, he's putting in the CPU. <sighs> Relax. Relax. Installing the CPU. The heart of the computer or the brain the covering that they put on the motherboard. You don't you don't take that out. You literally just lift it. Put in the CPU, push it back down and it comes out on its own. You don't okay. Plastic part out. No, you don't. Toss that out of no, you might need that. Okay. And now we have an exposed CPU holder, or rather slot. It's a socket, my friend. S O C K E T, not a CPU holder or a slot. It's a socket. Okay. On the motherboard, and we're gonna use. Also, this this is all for entertainment purposes. I'm not trying to roast this guy immensely or being mean. Just saying. Use the CPU applicator. Who uses that? Honestly, anyone who's built a PC, raise your hand or type in the chat, type in comments section if you've ever used a CPU applicator. And if you're watching this dude and your motherboard doesn't come with one, what are you gonna do? This is a special little part that not everyone may get, but this motherboard. That they just touch the pins. Okay, hopefully. You do. That we got from ASUS definitely does have. It's called a CPU installation tool. It makes it really useful if you want to install. A Core i7 Hexacore CPU. Yeah, we've got one. Yeah, you've got one. It's only sold at every major retailer in the world for PC parts. Nice, man. I like your parts. And it's an 8th generation chip, and it's nice. ready to go. And it supports overclocking. Nice. So what having... He still hasn't put in the fans. Okay. This little installer does for you is it's basically put the triangles that you'll see on the bottom left corners. And this will make it easier for us to apply it to the motherboard and then apply thermal paste and then apply a CPU cooler on top. And we're just going to carefully lean it down into the system and make sure that everything lines up oh, and we're going to clasp okay. down on it okay, and we'll be good fine. to go. It's fine. Okay, good. So we're good. about to apply thermal paste oh, to the God. CPU. Every CPU cooler actually comes with a bit of thermal paste already neatly applied in a circle around it, but it's usually not enough. It's I didn't even apply thermal paste and my... CPU cooler is fine. Okay. Good, essentially PC building practice to yeah, have okay, a sure. little bit extra one. and layer it. No, you're not icing a cake, dude. You're not making those little flower swirly things on a cake. It's a CPU. On top of the CPU, the final portion is to add the CPU cooler to the top end oh, of wires. the processor. So those you're gonna wires. see that there are. F oh. It's gonna go out of the CPU, I'm telling you. I'm not joking. Four brackets, or rather like screws in here with brackets, More brackets. and holders right here. More brackets. And they're going okay. to keep the cooler raised off the processor, but it's also gonna be close enough to actually physically come in contact with it. Like basically keep it cool. Take thumb screws like this and just screw them on. So now that our internals are done, we're gonna put all the panels back on, which is the top glass, side glass, front glass, and of course okay. the back panel okay. where all the I, wait, he didn't manage his cables, did he? Is the top glass, did. side glass, front glass, and of did. course the did. back panel where all this fun stuff is happening. So we fully built. Did he put in the fans? Please tell me he put in the fans. I think he did. Okay. You can turn. What is this? He 
He's lucky he got a good case. That's all I can say. He's lucky. But what were those? If Linus Tech Tips were here, he would say, Clean your cables! Hey! Built the PC, everything's put together, and we got to the post screen. So what's next? Got to the post screen. Biggest surprise of all today. Well, you need a USB flash drive with your up installed fully from pretty free intensive of my favorite games. I'm actually playing against a bot. He got a 1080 to play League of Legends. Nice. Nice dude. Okay, Steve Urkel has finished building. Thank goodness. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Also, ignore the vibes thing you hear. That's from my stream. I don't know why it's there. I forgot to change that. But uh, I can't redo the video at this point. But um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And um, see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe. Put anything down in the comments that you want to say. But, yeah. Bye, guys.